Hello, math makers, and thank you for joining me today. You're making math easier just by showing up. Today, we're going to be looking at comparing numbers, part two. This time, however, it's going to be a little bit different. We're going to be comparing larger numbers, and we're going to be using place value to figure out which one I should use, less than, greater than, or equal to. Before we get started, though, let's go over some terms we need to know. We have the less than. If the number is smaller and the number in the first number is smaller than the other number, it's less than it. If the number in the front is greater than, we use this symbol. If the number is larger than the other number, it is greater than. And of course, you know this symbol, it is equal. If the number is the same, it is equal or equal to. So when you're reading the answer to a greater than, less than, or equal to question, you're making a sentence. This is how you know if you are correct. For example, 4 is less than 7. That's a sentence. 4 is smaller than 7, so we know it's less than 7. 8 is greater than 5. Another sentence, because 8 is bigger than 5. And of course, 3 is equal to 3. Now, in the very first screen, we said this before, why was there an alligator? That didn't make any sense. Well, you know what? It's there to help you remember. The alligator always eats the bigger number. See the alligator there? He sees the nine. It's bigger. So that means we use this symbol. And nine is greater than two. That would be our sentence because the alligator likes to eat the bigger number. Or we might do it this way. Now that five is bigger than one, so it's going to eat that five, and one is less than five. So the alligator is really just there to help you remember which symbol to use, whether it's going to be greater than or less than. That's the only reason for the alligator. Now, are you ready to practice? We're going to compare numbers using place value. Now, you may look at some of the numbers and you may know already. And if you do, that's fantastic. And if you don't, go through the process with me and I'll show you how you can compare larger numbers. We're going to be working with numbers just in the hundreds today. We're not going to go to thousands, so we're just going to be working with those numbers first. If you can't do these, the thousands will be harder. So let's look at our first problem. We have two numbers, 123 and 125. Our first step is going to be we're going to use one of these charts today. It's going to help us. That's how we're going to break it into place value. We're going to write both the numbers. So I wrote 123, 125. Next, I'm going to compare. When I compare these two numbers using place value, I always start in the hundreds place. I always start with the largest place value there. So I'm going to compare 100, 100, that's the same. Next, I'm going to compare the tens place. 20, 20, that's the same. I'll compare the last one. 3, 5, oh wait, 3 is less than 5, so this 3 is less than 5. That means I'm going to use the less than symbol, which means 123 is less than 125. How'd you do? Let's do another one together, and then we're going to practice a few with you telling me what to do. We have two more numbers again. Step one, of course, is to write the numbers on our chart. I have 235, 219. Compare my hundreds first because I always start with the biggest one. And the two hundreds were the same. So I'm going to compare my tens next. 30 is bigger than 10. These are not the same. If 30 is greater than 10, I'm going to use the greater than symbol right up there, which means 235 is greater than 219. So this is helping us figure out if the numbers are the same, especially if that first, uh, if our hundreds are the same, it gets a little confusing sometimes. So this helps us figure those out so it's not so confusing. Let's do another one. Again, I have two different numbers. Step one, of course, again, is to write the numbers down. So I have 642, 589. I'm gonna start comparing again. Oh my, the very first number, they're different. 
I see a 600 and a 500. And I know 600 is greater than 500. So what symbol am I going to use? The greater than. Alligator wants to eat that bigger number. Which tells me that 642 is greater than 589. For some reason I don't have my sentence. But that's what the sentence would be. Two more numbers again. Get I write the numbers down first. 951, 951. I bet you already know the answer. But we're going to go through the process anyway. First step is I compare my hundreds. 900, 900, same number. I compare my tens. 50, 50, same number. One and one, same number. All the numbers are equal. So I'm going to use my equal sign, which means... 951 is equal to 951. Is this making sense? I hope so. Let's do three more together. I'm going to go through it. I'm going to go a little bit slower. I want you to say out loud what you think the answer or what you think we should do for each step. So step one is write both numbers. You wrote both numbers. If you want to try that at home, feel free to do that or in the class. What's the next step? What numbers do I compare first? The hundreds, that's right. Both those numbers are the same. 400 and 400, so I go to the tens place. Are 50 and 50 the same? They are. I go to the ones place. Are these numbers the same? No. 6 is greater than 2. 6 is greater than 2. So I'm going to use the greater than symbol. In my sentence, 456 is greater than 452. Now let's look at this one. What's step 1? Write the numbers. What's step 2? Compare the largest place. Compare the hundreds. Are the hundreds the same? They are. Whoops. I told you the answer already. I jumped the gun. Six is less than, 60 is less than 70. So which symbol do I use? Less than. So what's my sentence? 864 is less than 873. All right, this is our last one. Two numbers again. What's step one? Write the numbers. Very good. What's step two? I start comparing. Hundreds first. I always start at my largest place. 500 and 500 are the same. So what do I compare next? The tens. That's right. Are 70 and 70 the same? They are. What do I compare next? The ones. Are two and two the same? All the numbers are equal. So which sign do I use? The equal sign. And what's my sentence? 572 is equal to 572. How'd you do? I bet you did pretty well because we've already been doing this a little bit already. Guys, thanks for joining me today. Until next time, have a wonderful week.